Hey guys, welcome to a new video. It is so good to see you. In today's one, we're going to start the raw build of the BMW R80 custom bike project by test fitting the handcrafted mass motor exhaust system. I'm so excited to see it on the build, but better you check it out for yourself. Let's go. All right, guys, next, let's take off the old exhaust system. I'm gonna use some heat to try not to break these special screws. And to tighten or untighten these, there is this special tool that fits perfectly into these teeth. And I hope that with this one and some heat, I won't break them because they are supposed to be very fragile. We see how it goes. Right, heat gun. How high do you think is the possibility that I burn myself while doing this? Okay, let's go ahead and give it the first try. Oh, no, nothing moves. No, that does not move. All right, I found some WD-40, which creeps into all the cracks and uh, does a job. All right, so I have just watched a YouTube video by Chris Harris, I think is his name. All right, I've just watched a YouTube video by Chris Harris, um, who also has problems, well, also, I haven't really tried it, but he has problems uh, taking off this nut. And he seems to be like a BMW, I know, shop or something like that. So. He, first of all, has a proper wrench that is like half a meter long. And then he just uses a rubber hammer to knock this nut off with the wrench, with a proper wrench. He says to heat this nut up to 260 degrees at least. It's also supposed to take a while because it's aluminum. So I don't know how far I get with this one. If nothing works, I'll probably get a bigger wrench and one of those flame thrower things Also, what is very important is to only heat the nut and not the cylinder head because we want the cylinder head to be smaller than the nut. Okay, I think that does not move. Oh no, I think more tools that I need to get. So a bigger version of this one, get a proper rubber hammer and get one of those gas flamethrower things um, to properly heat this up. Well, last resort, that's actually what they did was cut this one open, but I don't really want to do that. We we'll see, I'll figure something out and then catch up with you. I'm in front of our workshop right now because I'm gonna leave Berlin for a few days, spend some time in the countryside. And what's the obvious solution to still work on the bike? Pack everything up and let's go. Everything's inside. Actually worked pretty well, so let's get the rest at home and then head out tonight. Just a few things, right? <laughs> oh man, what have I started?
All right, guys. So this is going to be our new workshop for the next few weeks. The bike is in, all the stuff is here. The only problem we might have is the background noise. This heating turns on every like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes for the same amount of time. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to work around the noise, but anyways, I'm excited to be here. Let's get cracking. So today we're going to give the exhaust nuts another go. As you might know, um, so today we're going to give these exhaust nuts another go. I couldn't get those off just with the regular tool. So after quite some research, I ordered this blowtorch from Rosenberger. Um, it has a special gas mixture called MAPP gas that allows you to work at temperatures that go as low as minus 20 degrees Celsius, which isn't too important for me, but the main advantage of MAPP gas is um, that you can work holding the blowtorch upside down. Others will just like spit flames and that gets kind of nasty very quickly. But this one most of the times does a great job in giving you a consistent flame, uh, no matter the angle. So yeah, with this one, we can start tackling the exhaust nuts and hopefully we'll get them off. Apart from this, I also got us a infrared thermometer um, so that we can measure the temperature of these nuts and I also got a rubber hammer and obviously obviously the special tool that is somewhere in the boxes fits better than the other one I think I'm also gonna link this one down below it's a German shop but I might also research one that ships internationally so the goal is to get these at 260 degrees without really heating up the cylinder head because we want to create a discrepancy in temperature between the outside and the inside thread. So let's see just for fun, 60, 70 degrees, we're at 80. This is 100. So it actually takes quite a while to heat up. 120, 145, we are 170. All right, let's go ahead and try this. Yes, nice. Guys, look at this. So nice. If you remember, without the heat, it didn't move at all, but like this. That's why I got the map gas and it came in clutch. So handy to have this. Right, onto the next side. All right, so two little tips that I would like to give at this point. Don't take too much time while switching tools or stuff like that because it cools down pretty easily and second um, make sure that when you use the wrench and start giving it a few knocks with the rubber hammer make sure that you do it in the correct way and don't tighten it any further yes it moves slowly but steadily when you're at this point um, make sure that you don't overdo it. Once it stops and kind of like doesn't want to go any further, um, maybe give it a few banks backwards, so tighten it again, loosen it again, go back and forth, or apply more heat at that point, um, so you don't strip the thread that is on the cylinder hat and which makes it very fragile. All right, be careful not to burn yourself. All right, guys, I'm so happy both sides are off. Um, I actually stepped outside just to get rid of this annoying, like, heat and noise. Um, yeah, this Rothenberg Power MAPP blowtorch came in so clutch. Yeah, super happy that those are off. Now we can test fit the mass motor exhaust system. I'm so much looking forward to that. All right, let's try to fit it on the bike. All right, guys, check that out. 
I mean, they look amazing and I like it how they come up here. Yeah, I'm very impressed by the looks. It was a little bit hard to get them on and they're still not in place yet. Need to figure out quite a few things. But yeah, apart from that, the looks are great. All right, guys, I just did a test sitting and I think we might have a problem. And it's not a small one. It's kind of a game changer. And if you're not careful and rest your foot here, then burn through your shoe. And then also, I mean, this is not adjusted properly, but look at how much space you only have to shift. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know if that is possible. If we shift the carb like this, maybe we have more space. But even though, like, that is so tight. On the other side, it's the same. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see how this challenge continues, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.